We're here with Wes Miller, the godfather of ATV racing movies. What's been going on, Wes? Just uh, got into Indy last night, so making my way around the show, checking everything out, running into uh, all my old friends here, and checking out the show. How's that working out with friends? Um, good. I, somehow I still have a few of them. You and uh, You haven't run into John Pellin, have you? Yeah, in fact, he's behind the camera right here. Oh, I was going to say he owes me some money, so if you can tell <laughs> yeah. him. Uh, so, uh, what's been going on in the porn, I'm, I'm sorry, the ATV movie industry? <laughs> well, um, you, we just put out Huevos 12, came out this past November, and then uh, we also put out a new, like, a Best of Crash video. Yeah. And uh, so we've got those out. They're available on our website. We also have uh, a new website that's on hookit.com, which is kind of a action sports social network. And it's called bombsquadbattalion.com. Okay. And people can go on there, set up profiles, interact with other members. And we have blogs from our riders and updates all the time. So people can check that out and you know see what we're up to, where our shows are at, things like that. Cool. I see the rock star hat. What you got going on there? Well, um, there's a, kind of a long story behind that. But uh, two of our riders, Caleb and Colton Moore, got into Winter X Games. And as part of that, we were able to uh, put together a deal with Rockstar Energy Drink. Cool. So now they're the title sponsor of Bomb Squad. So it's now the Rockstar Bomb Squad. And uh, we'll be doing that on sleds and on quads. Sleds too? Yeah. See, I'm from Texas. So uh, how's the sleds and the Texas going to work out? Caleb well, from Texas, well right? yeah, Caleb and Colton are from Texas, too. So y you must be missing something here because they were just in X Games on sleds. No, no, I know so. that. I know that. Yeah. I, I, right. Well, why aren't you on a sled? Uh, Doesn't everyone in Texas ride sleds? We ride horses in Texas, but uh, well, they're, maybe they're, I'm missing something. They're working on backflipping horses, but... Yeah. Yeah, okay. you I got that down if they want to come to my house and check it out. You don't need snow to ride a sled. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, we ride them in the dunes, cool, <laughs> dirt cool. into foam pits. Snow is the last place you want to ride a sled. Yeah, okay, that's awesome, that's awesome. What about uh, Polaris, how's that going? Good, uh, you know, this is, uh, what, fourth year with them, I believe? Yeah. You know, so uh, the guys love them. I mean, it's one of the only quads that they can go out and do freestyle on, almost bone stock. Yeah. So we do so many international shows, it works out great. You don't need to change the arms or axle, swing arms. We're basically, we put a, a slip-on pipe and Fox, like switch out the Fox shocks and some handlebars and they're good to go. Cool. So we've been real happy with that. They were real supportive in getting our guys into X Games. Yeah. They supplied us two of their 600 IQ race sleds. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so that's, they shipped them down to Texas. The guys started training in their foam pit and a little over a month later, they were taking home hardware at Winter X. I guess because how good the boys did in the Winter X Games, it brought snow with them because we had like record breaking snow in Texas this Friday. So that makes <laughs> that, sense. That's actually what they said when we were at Winter X Games was, uh, I think two days after they left to go up to Michigan to go train in the snow. Yeah it dumped at their house yeah so, yeah, that's and, how it uh, works. so they like just missed the snow in texas and then i think you guys got more but okay but uh you know so hey with all the uh changing weather you know yeah. maybe you guys will be riding sleds in texas more yeah definitely definitely well i appreciate it. shake your hand but the mic gives me sweaty <laughs> palms so uh oh yeah your baja how's that going Baja has been going really well. Um, yeah, I've been racing down there for about 15 plus years and seemed like always had this curse of getting second or just having or shanked. Bad, shanked you know, getting shanked, you know, bad luck like that, breaking my leg. And we could never really get over the hump to bring home a win. And, uh, you know, the past two years now, We've pretty much dominated. Sweet. And, uh, Sweet. you know, so we're going in this next year. I'm just kind of starting to get into training mode for the San Felipe 250. That's yeah. a month away. And, uh, you know, I want to go there and just take it to everybody this year. You should have got stabbed like six years ago. You might have been winning ever since then. I know, I know. Yeah. I, I never thought of that. That's but, probably uh, that, that it works. I feel like I got it out of my system and don't need any more of it, though. So. Okay, okay, good, good. Well, it was nice talking to you, and uh, good to see you. Rockstar Bomb Squad, baby.